So I use analogies when I teach about drugs to treat the brain. I, I teach in the medical curriculum and I talk about antipsychotic drugs and antidepressant drugs. And I say, you know, if you break your arm, you break your leg, or you're in a horrible accident and you're badly mangled, people come to the hospital and, you know, they bring you flowers and cards and, oh, you're going to get well and you just have to wait for the bones to heal. Or maybe they put some plates or pins or screws in. People can accept that, but if something is wrong with your brain, n no one knows how to deal with it because it's just something they can't get a grasp of. You're depressed or you've got bipolar disorder. It's, it's seen in a different way for some reason. And I tell people, you know, it's amazing to me that so many people have brains that we would consider normal. When you consider the complexity of the brain, it is so much more a complex organism than any organ in the body. It's amazing to me that so many people are relatively what we would call normal. I mean, look at an automobile. You know, how many things go wrong in an automobile? And it has nowhere near the complexity of the brain. Um, I don't know. It's, it, there's just a disconnect that I think is at a real fundamental level. If you break a bone, it's mechanical. You know, put a screw in it. If something's wrong with your heart, it's just a pump. You know, replace the pump or put new pipes in. But when something happens in the brain, people don't seem to know how to deal with it. And that's a taboo that's been there for millennia. And I think it's slowly changing. But there are still a lot of people who just are very afraid of getting in there and finding out what's in there.